Buddy, so I'm back. I just had to eat some dinner. So we're gonna continue with the walkthrough. Gonna finish up exploring Yahoo Girl. Um, bitch, don't shoot me. Alright, so we're gonna step off here so we can get to a shortcut. So, um, in that area where you would go to unlock that one NPC, uh, below, um, like the lowest level of the stairs at that, uh, high potion jail lamp, uh, down in that area, where we get that one nun of the healing church NPC. Um, there will be a, um, two, uh, bloodstone chunks. I'll show you that. Oh no, it's a chunk. Tempering damp blood gem will give 18% more damage. And he grabbed me, so just smash the R1 and L1 buttons and the B and the circle button and you can get out of that easily. Over here, get Arcane Lake, that'll help with Arcane Defense. Alright, so this next boss will unlock the ability to buy Bloodstone Chunks in the Insight Shop. And over here, get another madman's knowledge.
Dun 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 Malamalas, so silo dihiri me. Dun 
There we go, 99 insight. Yellow backbone. Now we're gonna move on to the second floor of the lecture building. So after this episode, we will be going on to the DLC. Alright, heading into here, there's not really anything in here. There's a couple of lore notes, we'll call them. Alright, so this giant. This giant can be very powerful as fire fists, but it's no match for our weapons. You can also drop chunks if you want to farm him for it. No matter, such. Now, um, we're gonna kill him here, but if you don't, there is a very, 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 very rare instance in the, uh, Chalice Dungeons where you can find him as a merchant, and he'll actually sell things to you at a much higher price. Um, so we're gonna kill him. For his great one's wisdom that he drops. Now we're gonna actually head into the Mantis Nightmare um, very quickly just to get the lamp just so we don't have to go through all this again. Bloodstone Chunk. There we go. Now, uh, in the nightmare here, if you don't kill these guys with a fire attack or a visceral attack, then they will spawn those worms that you see we saw in Kanehurst. That can be very, very annoying. So 
So in this area, there's going to be a proximity thing coming from the top of this tower up here that will friend to you. Um, and what it is, I will not spoil what it is. But we're just gonna run quickly over here. Light the lamp. And go and get out of here. So, we're gonna level up first. Very well. Gonna get 40 skill. Plus 15%, we don't need that. So, now in the insight shop, we will be able to get bloodstone chunks. Which we're just gonna buy four of those right now, cause why not? We'll be getting tons more insight, don't worry. So. We're gonna go max out our Ludwig's Holy Blade, at least as far as we can do it for now. Oh, also, um, so you can see you have the Logarius wheel. So I also completed Alfred's, uh, Viral Blood Hunter's quest. Um, so all you have to do to complete it is, um, just go back to him with the unopened summons, give it to him, uh, talk through his dialogue, um, then he will go to the Viral Blood Queen's chamber, kill her, um, and then give you the badge and job. Yeah. So, we'll stop here. So, next time, I will see you in the DLC, or maybe we'll do some Chalice Onions first, just to get some extra things before going into the DLC. So, we'll see you next time.